Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting questions every day and today we have a really interesting challenge, we have 30 minus 10 divided by 2 and minus 1. So this looks like a pretty easy problem, but many of you are going to get this wrong and you'll probably be a little bit shocked, but don't panic, I'm going to fully explain you why you're probably going to get this wrong and how to avoid this particular mistake. So well, let me go ahead and tell you the problem we have, as I told before, 30 minus 10 divided by 2 minus 1. Where is the question? Everyone handle this division in the third grade, so it looks like easy question for everyone, but many goes wrong, many will fail to solve this question, and right here let's check our answers. So right here I suggest you to pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. We have three options, option A, option B, option C, so choose one option, what do you think is correct, and write your option down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check our answers. So here's our question, here's our option, and let's start to solve it. So right here we have 30 minus 10 divided by 2 and minus 1. So one part of students solve this question like that. They don't know enough about math and they think that we should go from left to right. They'll learn this rule and we should go from left to right, 30 minus 10, which is equal to which is equal to 20. We have divided by 2, so we have this expression, we just rewrite it. So 20 divided by 2 right here once more from the left hand side, 20 divided by 2 equal to 10 and 10 minus 1 equal to equal to 9. So one part of students who don't know enough and about math, they solve this question like that, they say a correct answer is option option A, which is really interesting interesting solution, because in math we should know about a correct order of operation. We can't solve this question chaotically, we can't solve this math question wherever we want, we just need to know about a correct order of operation and we should solve this question correctly, because right here obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, let's look for example at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in, in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC and let's check this answer with this PMDMC. Let's check this 9 because we, we solved it, we already solved this, but let's solve this answer according to PMDMC. So here's our question, so we have 30 minus 10 divided by 2 and minus 1. Here is our question. Okay, first step according to PMDMC is parentheses. Let's look at it. As I told before, we don't have any parentheses. This is like a regular expression without any parentheses. So we just skip this part with parentheses. We don't have it and it's it's really good. We don't have any parentheses. What about the next step? The next step is exponents. What about exponents? As I told before, we don't have any squares, square cubes right here. So it's really great. So we can easily skip this part with exponents. We don't have any exponent. What about the next step? The next step is multiplication and division group. And many forget about the, this grouping because right here multiplication and division had the same priority according to PMDMC and we should find this multiplication and division signs at first. So let's look at our question. We have subtraction, division and subtraction. We interested in division because we find multiplication and division sign, but this division we have right here. So as you can see we have a lot of differences with this solution. So right here we should start from this division. So we have division part right here and we don't have any multiplication part. So our first step is to divide this expression in the middle. So 10 divided by 2 is our first step, which is, uh, which has a lot of dif differences with this solution, because right here we just start from this subtraction, which is very bad solution in our case. So let's solve this correctly according to PMDMC. So the first step is division. So we have 30 minus 10 divided by 2 equal to 5 and minus 1, which is equal to uh, we equal to 24 because our last step is addition and subtraction so this is maybe the obvious solution we don't have any addition and we have subtraction sign so as you can see right here we have only division and subtraction which is really important in our case so as you can see right here we should start from this division and then we have all the time subtraction so this is maybe the obvious obvious solution for us we just need to subtract this this is this all values 30 minus 5 minus 1 so we solve this correctly according to PMDMC we have 24 according to this solution and we have 9. And here is maybe the main question, what is the correct answer, 9 or 24? Of course, as I told before, correct answer is, is 24, because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. This solution is very bad for everyone, because we can't uh, can't subtract at first, then divide, this is very bad, uh, bad solution for us. Of course, with parentheses, maybe somehow this question will be okay, because parentheses is our first step, now we should uh, start from these parentheses, then we have like 30 minus 10 equal to 20, which is correct, and then maybe we have nine with parentheses, but in our case we don't have any <clears throat> any parentheses, so we just we just forget about this option A, which is absolutely absolutely wrong for us. Correct answer is 24, and if you are talking about option, we have three options: nine, six, and four. Let's let's choose one option. So we have our answer. 
I have a correct answer is option maybe C because right here 9 and 6 is obviously not the same as 24. But this 4 factorial, let's, let's remember we have 4 factorial which is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 and times 4 which is equal yeah we have 24 so our correct answer is option option c but this is a very tricky moment because sometimes student goes back to this wrong answer they say that we don't have any 24 right here and then they go back to this wrong answer and they say that the correct answer is option option a in our case correct answer is 24 according to our expression but according to this test correct answer is 4 factor 4 factorial which is option c so our option c is a correct answer to, to this question so we hope you understand this explanation i hope you learn uh, something new but uh, if you're interested in these classes if you need help with any of these classes you can just go through my youtube channel i have a ton of videos so with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures thank you for your time and have a great day